follow me. Now you rockin' with the agents of CRG. Yeah, it's top secret talk low when you speak. Got the whole squad reppin' Chapman. Real uh, T. Yeah, hey, tune in and just listen. Yeah, it's a top secret mission. The negotiator got market mama numbers a little boss in this. How you guys doing? It is Sasha Chapman here, your tech Jedi. Before we get started, please make sure you like and subscribe to this video. Alright, let's go ahead and get started. Facebook. You need to know how to generate leads with Facebook and doing ads. I'm not going to go through the whole ad thing. There's plenty of videos out there, but I'm going to show you how to do this cheaper in free 99 if you wanted to capture the leads. Okay. Um, so first things first, I want you to go to publishing tools. And once you get to publishing tools, I'm going to show you how to create a form. Okay. So we're going to go down to forms library. We're going to click on create and we're going to call it a new form. So next, I couldn't see that. All right, so this is where you can capture lead information. This is only if you actually boost an ad, not boost an ad, if you actually create an ad in the back end, okay? So the intro, I'm not going to make it long and brief. I'm going to say homes for 200K and under in your area. Now, you need to put something a little more catchy than that, but for demonstration purposes, this is what I'm doing it for you, all right? We're going to throw in a picture. Let me, oh, let me go back. 1200 by 628 megapixels. If you don't have a picture exactly like that, follow my video on using Canva, how you can start creating megapixel pictures of pictures with the exact dimensions that you need. It's easy to do and it's free 99, okay? So I'm just gonna grab anything. Um, and for the interest of time, let's see, that'll work. This is one of the open houses I had this past weekend. All right, now here's where you hook them. You put your information in here. I've created a list of homes just for you. People in my market sitting there laughing because they know when people watch me, I cannot type. So I feel like I'm being watched. You can put more in there. All right. Now, real quick, go to questions. And I know I'm going fast because I got a lot to show you. Um, and click on show more. You want their email and you want their name. Be bold. Ask for the phone number too. You know, just make sure you ask for it. You can get it. Okay. Now you can create a custom question here if you want, if you like. You don't have to. I do. Here's my question: How soon are you looking to buy a house? Right. I'll put something like now. Enter. Okay. Uh, zero to three months. Enter. Three to six months enter six months or more i mean i think my pipeline is a little bit different but th that'll work for you so now you have a custom question that's optional that will qualify them it's going to be right there right now privacy policy i'm just going to show you exactly what i do um i go open up another link real quick and i'll put a kw privacy policy right that link comes up. I am going to copy this URL because this is why we pay them so much. Thank you, K-Dub. Um, right, let's go back to Facebook. I'm sorry. And I am going to paste that link into the URL and put in privacy policy. I can type it. And that's it. That's pretty much it. Now, you want to make sure you have a nice graphic, something that's going to be catchy. So, you know, figure that out. Uh, but you can easily find graphics online or you can create your own in Canva. I really suggest doing that. I like making my ass my own. You can do that. And on the thank you screen, what else do you want to say? Now, here's the kicker. Drive traffic to your website. Drive them where you want to be. If you're doing your mobile app, you can drive them to your mobile app. Uh, but drive them somewhere. Let's say I'm, I'm just going to say I'm going to drive them to my mobile app for whatever reason. I know it's not exactly the ad we're looking for, but... Um, let's just say it's the case. I, I'm doing it because I want to show you Bitly again. So I've taken my mobile app, login, link, create a Bitly, CRG, KW app, right? You don't have to do that, but you know, it's better than my agent code. And I am going to make that the link, paste, and instead I'll say something like download my app right away. Download my app. Boom. 
and that's it. And so that's what they'll see. I have some verbiage in here to engage them after the thank you, et cetera, et cetera. And there you go. I would save it. Let's call this demo. We'll call it demo. All right. I'm going to save it. Um, finish it. So now it's done. Um, and let me just explain one thing here. You do not get a notification that you got a lead. All right. And I am still trying to figure out when they stay, when they go. I mean, honestly, leave your comments down below. If you know how this works a little bit more than me, I appreciate that. Um, let me know because I, one time I had an ad go and I had over like 19, 20 leads just sitting here because I didn't know I had these leads. So you have to actually come in and check them um, and see what's going on. Like this is an old one here. They don't stay in here forever. So they, they leave pretty fast. So this is one I actually created and whatnot. But you literally have to come in here and click on download to down to download them. Okay. Now it's done. Your ad is done. Refresh it. And it should come up. Sometimes you gotta refresh a little bit longer. All right, so there's our demo right there. We're gonna preview it, and this is what it looks like. Okay? That is that. Now, let's fast forward. All right. Try not to be too long for you guys here. But three dots. Let's go to create an ad. I'm not gonna walk you all the way through this because I have other videos about that. About that. But here's what's important. Yeah, no, we're gonna start over. It's new. I'm always in the here making an ad. Um, what do you want to get when you do that? Lead generation. If you want the form to come up, I want y'all to see that again. Let's go back. You have to click on lead generation. I want you to see it again. I went a little fast. I didn't want to go that far back. But okay, Facebook, let's play. <laughs> back to creating an ad. Okay, so once you get back in here, you have to choose the objective of your ad. Okay, so once you're in, in Facebook Ad Manager, choose objective. You can see right here, based off what what pops up it's all different but if you actually want to capture the lead information you click on lead generation it's going to give you the lead form so i'm going to power through this click on continue we're going to go to the lead form itself and you get to pick and choose between which lead form you want to use you can see i have several that i've used here and that is pretty much it <laughs> i got away through this video with a, with a typo but anyway this is how you can use this to create a nice ad using Placer together along with Facebook to start generating leads. So I use this all the time and I look at it this way. I can either go door knocking, which I definitely do. I do some door knocking or I can do this. So there's other ways of looking at lead generation and I get a lot of leads this way and I can touch or digitally touch, if you will, um, two, 3,000 people for a very small amount of money. You do not have to throw a lot of money into your ad know that if you look at your demographics and you do that well you don't have to do that all right guys i want to sign off here i am sasha chapman your tech jedi i hope this um video was very informational for you and help you out if you're watching this video on kw connect please make sure you follow me and hey drop me a comment if you're watching this video on youtube make sure you like and subscribe i definitely appreciate that you can catch us all at Chapman Realty Group on Facebook. And you guys have a blessed day. Bye-bye.